Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth tutorial video of Math 2 week 2. So let us consider the function fx equal to mod of x minus 1. So you know that the function gx equal to mod x that we can write as gx equal to x if x is greater than equal to 0 and minus x if x is less than 0 and you have already seen that this function this function gx is a continuous function why it is continuous because limit x tending to 0 if we come from the positive side gx that will give us this x so this is limit x tending to 0 plus x and that is 0 and again if we come from the left side from the negative side of x axis that will again give us this will give minus x and limit x tends to uh, sorry limit x tends to 0 minus that is again 0 so both the limit are same so limit at x tending to 0 gx is nothing but 0 which is same as g of 0 so this function is continuous similarly in this case the fx what we have considered here uh, which is a mod of x minus 1 this is also a continuous function so fx is also a continuous function why because again this we can write it as fx to be x minus 1 if x minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 and minus of x, x minus 1 if x minus 1 is strictly less than 0 that means this again we can write it as x minus 1 if x is greater than equal to 1 and minus of x minus 1 if x is strictly less than 1 so if we calculate the limit of x tending to 1 plus fx uh, you will get it as same as limit extending to 1 minus at fx and uh, this so this will give that limit of extending to 1 fx exists and you can check that it is nothing but f of 1 the similar kind of checking for gx what we have done here the same thing will work here so fx is continuous and 1 and for the other places it is anyway continuous because this is a linear function x minus 1 and this is again a linear function minus of x minus 1 whenever x is not 1 so only for 1 we have to check it here so that we have already checked so fx is a continuous function now uh, what about the differentiability so we will check uh, through the definition of derivative so limit of h tending to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h this is the if this limit exists then the function is differentiable so again for the other, all other places it is obviously differentiable because x minus 1 we can see that this is a linear function so f dash x uh, f dash x is nothing but 1 if x is strictly greater than 1 and it is minus 1 if x is strictly less than 1 so only problem can arise at x equal to 1 so we will have to check what uh, is it differentiable at x equal to 1 or not so ok so let us do this so f of at x equal to 1 what we have to check we have to check this one at x equal to 1 we have to check whether this limit exists or not right so this at first we check when we approach 1 from the right side so from the right side f of 1 plus h f of 1 plus h means uh, x is obviously greater than 1 so this first thing will come so f of 1 plus h 1 plus h minus 1 minus of f of 1 so f of 1 is here uh, 0 and h 
so this will give us limit h tending to 0 this one this one cancel up so limit sorry 0 plus limit h tending to 0 plus h by h and that will give us 1 now what about limit h tending to 0 minus so let us do it here limit h tending to 0 minus f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 h so we are coming from the left hand side of 1 so x is less than 1 so this thing will come here the second part so what we get we get limit h tending to 0 minus f of 1 plus h will be now minus of 1 plus h minus 1 f of 1 is 0 again and this is h so limit h tending to 0 minus so this will give us minus h by h so this is nothing but minus 1 so you can see that limit h tending to 0 minus this f of x plus h minus fx by h this is not same as limit h tending to 0 plus f of x plus h minus fx by h at x equal to 1 hence at x equal to 1 this function fx is not differentiable so that we have checked here and for other cases when x is strictly greater than 1 the function is differentiable and the derivative of the function is 1 and when x is strictly less than 1 the derivative of function is minus 1 and at 1 this function is not differentiable now let us try to visualize this using graphs using GeoGebra so let us see how mod of x minus 1 look like yeah so it is like mod of x but it is shifted towards uh, positive x axis uh, by one unit so this is mod of x minus 1 and now if we try to see the tangent of this function how the slope of the tangent changes so we can see that uh, when we are in the positive side of 1 the tangent even says that when we are coming to the left hand side of 1 the slope of the tangent changes otherwise the slope of the tangent remain constant as you can see in this animation so till 1 the slope is minus 1 and from right hand side of 1 I mean 1 towards the positive side the slope is 1 as we have seen in our calculation so the derivative of the function will look like this so at 1 the function is not differentiable except that uh, when x is greater than 1 strictly greater than 1 the derivative of the function is a constant function 1 and when x is strictly less than 1 the derivative of the function is a constant function minus 1 thank you